What up, friends? Crafty friends. I went to Tuesday morning, picked up a few things. But first I wanted to show you these stamps I got. They're coffee related. Aren't they cute? I won them on the Chic Craft Eek site and they're really adorable. And they've got like little coffee cups and coffee mugs. They're the Tim, I think they're Tim Holtz. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're the Tim Holtz coffee mug. Um, coffee, iced coffee, coffee mug, thing of coffee, 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 coffee. Um, I made this. It's the start of a pocket letter. And I, um, I don't know if you can see the sparkle, but I used embossing powder. And I put the iced coffee stamp on there. I thought that was cute. And I also got my nails did. So they're not all jacked up anymore. See, they're pokey dots. They're pokey dots. Anyway, nobody cares about that. Move on with it. Okay, so Tuesday morning. Went to Tuesday morning. Woohoo! I got these cool stickers. They're China stickers. They've got all different little stuff, the Asian stuff on it. I don't know if you could see. Um, they got panda bears and little Chinese scroll thingies. And they've got like a pagoda thingy. And they've got this dude here. And they've got all kinds of China stuff. Cool, isn't it? So I'll use those for a pocket letter and make like an Asian Asian pocket letter. I'll use some of my graphic 45 paper that I have that has Asian themes on it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then I got this paper, this big pack of paper for only four, $4.99 maybe. Um, and it's got some really cute paper in it. Let's see if you could see. It's got like the surfer type, you know, what do they call those? Woodies, the, the cars that are like wood. There's another good one in here that has it. It's got like the guitars and it's kind of like hippie stuff. It's got like guitars and funky stuff on there. It's called Route 66 is the name of it. Let's see if I can find it. See, there's some more with the guitars and drum sets and a, a woody. I hate to say that it sounds bad. I got a woody. <laughs> skulls and crossbones and cool stuff and then there was another one my favorite page was this I think this one yeah because I don't know if you could see it but all the these wagons which are called woodies by the way I'm not making that up they're actually called woodies but I don't know if you could see that they're kind of shiny they've got like a shine to them I love it so cool and this what's <laughs> this little leaf thing with the guitar and it almost looks like a pot leaf I didn't say that. I didn't say anything. I don't do that stuff. Do, 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 do. Anyway, <laughs> here's guitars. How cool. And there's just some really cool, cool pages in here. It's got some tags you can either cut out or punch out. I'm not sure. Yeah, you have to cut them out. Cool stuff. Just look, some borders. Sweet. So that's going to be fun use very fun very fun and then I also got this which I don't know a whole lot about the we are memory keepers um, stuff but this is um, it says it's albums made easy and it was only $3.99 but you get a whole bunch in here for $3.99 which I thought was pretty cool I mean that's a good deal you get like all these cards all these like they're double-sided they've got like journal spots on the back and stuff and you get like all this stuff and I guess it's to make little mini albums and stuff which I may do and then you get all of these double-sided papers which is to make I guess to make an album with you punch and then put you know whatever in it so I might make a few little albums I might not use all of them for one but I might make a couple little albums with it but there was a whole you get a whole bunch in here and at you know Tuesday mornings it was all, it was there for 3.99 so I was like heck yeah that's a lot of nice colored paper for that price so why not let me stick this back in the box because if I just put it aside and do it later I probably won't do it I'll forget about it now I'm having trouble 
There we go. So I got that. That was a pretty cool deal. And then I got other stuff in this bag. In all total, I think I spent like $30. Not bad. Washi tape. Some red Tim Holtz washi tape. I got this little bag of like, they called it chips, which is basically like little colored chipboard pieces that are in there. I don't know if you could see. It's got flowers and leaves and stuff. And then I've got more that are like chipboardish type of stuff. And I guess it's like Americana stuff, which will be fun for around 4th of July doing pocket letters. And then I've got these little pieces in here. They're only 99 cents. Some of this stuff, it says $0.99 cents or it says $1.49. It was actually cheaper than that when they rung it up because I was actually shocked. I don't know how much, but it was cheaper. Like some of it was like instead of $0.99, cents, it was $0.59 cents or, or something like that. So anyway, got that. I got these, some more chips. And these look like they're hearts and different stuff in there. I'm not going to open them right now. More washi tape, Tim Holtz. Wood pieces, a whole bunch of uh, like flowers and stuff, which are really cute. They're nice, tiny little flowers, good for pocket letters. I got some more wood pieces. I got these cute little frames. And then I got these cute little, I guess they're like, um, they, could, they could be used as like a banner thing to put letters on and stuff. And there's another wood, another one with wood pieces. Where the heck did it go? There it is. And the only reason I bought this one, this one has all different dogs in there, little puppy dogs. But the only reason I bought it is because there's poodles in here. There's little poodle dogs in here. And I wanted the poodle dogs so bad. I was like, oh, poodle dogs. There's not many poodle dogs. There's like five I counted. I was trying to count how many were in there. But I like all the dogs anyway, period. So it doesn't matter. But poodles are my favorite. I have poodles. Love them. They're the best dogs ever. I swear it. And then I got a couple of these little containers because they were only a little bit over a dollar. And I can use those for my different embellishments that I'm running out of room for. So I got two of those plastic cases. And then I got a variety of ribbon. And this is like raffia. And then I got some uh, more like ribbon-ish type stuff. Trims kind of. And then this is more trims. And they were all 99 cents each. So bunch of those really pretty oh wait and another one here which I think this is a double actually because I, I wanted to grab yeah it is it's a double of this one but I don't have any red and so I was happy to see the red in there so I grabbed both of them they were 99 cents why not and then here's some more ch uh, chipboard pieces little chips they call it chips so that's it I think so that's all the stuff I got which was cool I try to go in there every couple of weeks and just see if they got anything new in, you know. But yeah, that's it. And then also, if you hold on a second, I'll show you all the pocket letter that I just got today. It is so cool. It's my favorite. Oh, I just lost this. I don't know where it came from. Oh, I guess it was back there. Anywho whatsoever. I'm going to trip over stuff. I swear I'm going to kill myself in here. Let me get this stuff out of the way, and then we can look at that pocket letter. So I'm going to have to put this stuff back in the bag, because right now I need to, I have to have time to put it away, and I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, so I'll just put it in the bag. Out the way. Out the way. Okay. So pocket letter with poodles on it. Isn't that cute? Oh, hold on. My bomb's gonna go off. Okay. Anyway. Pocket letter. Poodles. Isn't that cute? I told her some of the things I liked and I told her I liked poodles because I do. Love it. Isn't that so cool? It's so pretty. 
It's got, see, one of the flowers fell out. I think there was another flower in one of these, but it fell out when I was trying to get it. Or maybe she put it in the back and gave it to me. That could be possible. So anyway, there was a flower in it. These are so cute. They look like she made them. I think she did because they're made with a brad, but they're so adorable. But we'll look because I haven't even looked through this yet. I just got home and I have not looked through this at all to see what was in it. But look, she even put like a tiny little poodle in the corner with little little balls, little ball chain or whatever that is. And I guess that's a, a safety pin. That's a cute idea. And then she put like this trim on the edge. So cute. I love it. So let's dig through and see what we got here. Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a cute little key. There's like this little key. Cute. And then there's a heart, like a chipboard heart piece or a scrapbook paper heart piece. So cute. And then there's, it says thank you, and it has, another, it has one of those flowers on it. So I'll put this back in. cute love it this is probably like the most favorite pocket letter I've ever gotten just because it has poodles on it poodles I love so much I have a whole collection of like vintage ceramic poodles and stuff because I love them okay let's go through this pocket let's see what is that she put this in there she made that she made a lot of really pretty things for this that's really cute. It's got the tooling around it, and then she made this, and she put like that little yarn on it that has little stuff hanging off of it. And then here's the card that she put it against. So cute. It says, make the most of each moment. So cute. And then behind that pocket, doo, 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 there is... Uh, hot air balloon tissues that you can get from Michaels and you know why I know that because I bought some of these I have them right here right here same tissues and do you know what else in the pocket letter I made for her I put one of these in it isn't that hilarious that we both put one in for each other I didn't send hers yet so I'm glad I didn't because I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put something else since she already sent this to me I'm sure she doesn't need it back isn't that funny though I found that funny. Um, I guess this is supposed to be like this. It's kind of curled up. And I guess you're supposed to straighten it out so that it's like a rocket. That's the only thing I can gather from this. It was kind of like a rocket going off. And it says, it says, um, yeah, aim for the sky because even if you miss, you'll still be among the stars. That was cute how she, how she crinkled that up and then made it pop out like that very cute I'll have to put that back so that I can crinkle it back up again I'll put it back another time or after I'm done doing the video okay so then we're on this pocket here and that's cute she made that it looks like she I don't know how she made that I guess she printed something out because see I, it feels like a like a like a matte photo paper so she must have printed something, I don't know, on both sides. Or maybe this was a piece of junk mail that she found a really cool picture of. I think that's really cool, though. Um, and it says enjoy. And it has some tea. I love it. It's got tea. I'm so happy. I'm going to leave that out because I'm probably going to have some. But look at the little bow with the little blingies on it. Isn't that cute? So cute. Loves it. <clears throat> and then we'll go to this one. And this poodle, I love this poodle. Ooh, so I can actually, it's an applique, so I can actually put this on something. And I might just do that. That is so cute. I love that. I want to put that on something. I got a piece of my clothing or something. I'm going to wear this poodle. I swear it. I love it. And then there's this card that had the poodle on it. And it has little trims on the top. And then on the back side, it's green. But it's really pretty. I love that cardstock. It's super pretty. So cute. And then behind it, there was some of this, like, yarny stuff. Trimmy yarny stuff. It's real pretty. I don't have anything like that. 
That's really cute. Very cute. I love it. I love it. All right. Get in there, poodle. You're being difficult, just like my Tigger. My my dog Tigger is a poodle. He's a black poodle. I used to have a white poodle, too. I've had a bunch of different color poodles. And this one says laugh, and it has trim. And it has a really cool picture. How did she do that? I'm trying to figure out what she did. Oh, I see. She glued it on, and then she put, like, marker around it. It's like a lady. Looks like she's having, like, laughing, kind of. Or just happy. That's really cute. It looks like a magazine cutout. That's a really cool idea. I have a bunch of magazines. I just haven't gone through them yet because I was that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to use them for cutting out pieces out of. Um, and then I think, ooh, stickers. And what's this? What is that? Oh wow. These look like they were cut out of a magazine, but they're all these pictures of different celebrities and like they're kind of vintagey. That's so cool. And what's funny is, that looks like Amy Winehouse. I doubt it's her, but it does look like her. And then there's uh, Marilyn Monroe. And I want to say that that's Jackie Kennedy. And that might be Jackie Kennedy. It just in the picture looked like um, Amy Winehouse. And then I don't know who that is. But anyway, that's a really cute idea. So cool. I love those. Love it, I love it. And then there's Monster High stickers, which everybody knows. I love me some Monster High. Well, probably not everybody knows that, but now you do. I have Monster High dolls. Um, I have a whole bunch of them up on shelves in my bedroom. Because I'm like 15 years old, you know. I'm really not 15 years old, but I'm not telling anybody how old I am. Um, I'm way too old to have Monster High dolls in my bedroom. But guess what? I don't give a poop. <gasps> Look at that poodle applique. Another one. Yay. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> My dog's over there looking at me. If you could only see, giving me this like stink eye. Like, mother, you are not supposed to be playing with other poodles. When I come home from work, my dog, he sniffs me like as if you know he's interrogating me. He's doing like the doggy interrogation. He sniffs me so. Because I clean houses for a living, so a lot of my clients have pets, and of course I pet them and play with them. So if I come home smelling like dog, man, I'm in trouble. I always tell them, sorry, I cheated on you. I'm sorry. I always tell them that because, you know, I try to fess up when I do something bad. I'm not really sure what this is. Oh my God, they're tattoos. I love me some tattoos. And tomorrow... I'm going to the Ren Fair, and you bet your sweet arse that I'm going to wear a couple of these tattoos. Because they are the cutest. Okay, I'm leaving those out because I really am going to put them on. Because I'm going to the Ren Fair, which last year I got a henna tattoo at. And the henna tattoo that I got must have been somebody who did not know how to do a henna tattoo because it kind of sucked. The... The design she did looked very juvenile, and usually henna tattoos look really cool. Well, the design I got, it was awful. So I don't really have any plans on getting another friggin' henna tattoo anytime soon. Ooh, well, first of all, let's show this. And it's got the bling on the bow again. And this little pretty Brad here, and it says Inspire. And it's got this cool lady with pink hair. I love pink hair. I had pink hair up until I dyed it. Brown or Auburn. <gasps> Ooh. She made this little card. It's just a little blank card. And inside of it, a couple little baggies that have like vintagey stamps in it. I'm excited about those. That's really awesome. I love me some vintagey stamps. Oh, shut up. Vintage stamps! And then she gave me these cute little paper clips. They're pink with white polka dots. They match my nails. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? They totally match my nails. Let's see if I could do this without looking like an idiot. See? They're matching my nails. I think my camera dropped down about an inch or two. Cute! I love it! So excited! 
That's so awesome that she gave me vintage stamps. I'm so happy about that. All right, I'm sure you guys are like bored to tears here. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm hurrying. Don't yell at me. Okay, get out. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Pretty heart. Pretty heart with little dots on it. With little like, looks like just pink dots. They're like raised. It's like I feel braille. I'm blind. It says, Stacy, you are so wonderful and brilliant and fabulous. But actually, you're an idiot. Oh, man. Just kidding. Doesn't say that. Oh, and she has her little about me, which I will read because I love those. And then it says here, it says, you're the sweetest thing this side of heaven. That was very nice. Ooh, more Monster High stickers. What, what? I'll wear these to the Ren Fair tomorrow. I'll put them all over my face. I'll do it. I ain't afraid. I ain't scared. I ain't scared at all. Okay, so we'll put this back together. Yes, I'm hurrying. Stop yelling at me. Okay, last one. So you guys can be done being bored. That one's cute. It looks like a, a child sleeping. And it says dream. And I love how she made these little do, do dad thingies. It says dream. It's cute. It looks like she put some glossy accents over like she probably printed the dream on there or maybe it's a rub on or something but she either printed it or it's a rub on on some paper that she glossy accented that's really cool and then she made this flower it's very cool oh and there's my letter in there you don't need to see that that's mine only mine oh and what she did was very smart she put her name and the date that she put that she made this that's perfect because I'm actually going to glue it to the back side of this so cuz when it's in my notebook I'll be able to flip through and know who it came from very quickly so I'm going to stick it in there for now but I am going to glue that in and I've got my notes to read and I've got my tea so what I'm going to do is make myself some tea and I'm going to read my notes that's usually what I do if they have tea in the bag or a piece of candy even I'll eat the candy while I read my letter that's my favorite thing to do so anyway, I am done. This video is long enough and nobody really cares about what I have to say right now. I can ramble on for hours and everybody would fall asleep. But anyway, I hope you guys have a good weekend. I'm going to the Ren Fair tomorrow. I think I mentioned that like four times. So excited. And then after that, I'm going to be packing up my house because I am moving. I'm not really happy about that. Thumbs down. But, um... This house is way too big for me. I do not need to be in this house. I've got way too much crap. I need to downsize that. I don't want to be in this big house. It's got too many stairs for my arthritis. That is one of the biggest reasons I need to leave this house because I cannot handle constantly going up and down stairs. Drives me nuts. I bring groceries home and I have to lug them up a very steep set of basement stairs. It sucks. Love the house. I just hate the fact that it's got stairs. So, um... Yeah, so I'm going to be moving, hopefully to a, I'm going to be moving more than likely to a ranch style house. Hopefully it'll have all the elements that I need, which is also a bigger craft room, craft space. Hoping there will be a rec room for me to use as a craft room that'll be nice and large. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Not that you care very much because you got your own issues, I'm sure. Anyway, going to have tea, read my letters. Have a good weekend, and if you don't see some videos from me, I'm going to be a little bit busy. I will try to make some. Um, I'm going to try to make a couple of tutorials and whatnot, um, but if I can't, I apologize because I'm going to be a little bit busy for the next 30 days, but I will try. I swear I'll try. Um, anyway, make sure you do what you love and love what you do, and love y'all, and have a good weekend. Bye. It's pocket letter story time, girls and boys. Let's start. There's not much going on up here, but this little birdie's gonna fly over to this flower and take a big poop right on it. And then this poodle here. This tiny lady is oblivious that the, this giant poodle is going to trample over her head and smell this poodle's butt. Sniff, sniff. Smells like heaven. 
And then she's got these little birds that are going to attack these little hearts because the hearts are going to come down and eat her giant hair and then eat her brains. So these birds are trying to save her from the hearts that are flying down to eat her brain. And then, uh-oh, we've got the evil pink monster lady. She's evil. She gave this little girl a sleeping potion to make her sleep forever. And the only way that'll break her spell is if the poodle sniffs the other poodle's butt and tramples over the weird lady that's about to get her brains eaten. That's a pocket letter story. The end.